Good day. I'm the Reverend Ronald Nathan, and I'm the minister of the Whole God AME Zion Church, which is located in Jackson in St. Michael in the island of Barbados. Thank you for joining us for meditation today. And, <clears throat> excuse me, we are pleased to have you here with us. Our meditation comes from Psalms 46, a psalm a day. A psalm a day. God is present. That's the theme I'm using. It is unfortunate that there exist today many who live their lives as if God is absent from this world. They fail to acknowledge his personhood, his presence, his power, his provision, and they fail to acknowledge him in praise. The result of this type of attitude and action in many means that they have no place to run to when the storms of life presents itself. And they have no name to call on in times of weakness. In Psalms 46 and the first verse, for those who are familiar with the King James Version, it says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. The scriptures, and in this psalm in particular, makes it quite plain that God is present. God is not absent. God is everywhere and God is available to you today. Give God a chance to prove himself in your life. Whatever you may be going through, desertion, maybe going through a divorce, you may be going through some distraught, you may be having a personal meltdown, you may be faced with a big tax bill. Whatever your situation, I want to say to you, whatever your circumstance and whatever country you may be in, God is present. The sons of Korah, the writer of this psalm, announces, Come and see what the Lord has done. Verse 8, Come behold the works of the Lord. In this psalm, we find the psalmist saying that God accompanies his children. Whatever the circumstance, whatever the problem may be, God accompanies his children. When refuge and strength is needed, God is there. When there is trouble, God is ever present. The psalmist seem to indicate that if it's an earthquake or landslide, tsunami or floods, God is present. Whether at home or in church, temple, mosque or synagogue, God is present. Whether in the community center or on the block, in the hood or in a gated community, God is present. As a matter of fact, uh, the writer goes on to say that even when kingdoms are moved, in other words, there's international intrigue taking place, coups and counter coups, elections, uh, victories and defeats, God is present. In famines and pestilence or in peacemaking, God is present. God is present always to be exalted. God is present always to be consulted. God is present to be called upon to intervene on the behalf of men. 
in verse 7 of this Psalm 46 and also in verse 11, it tells us, the Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. And that's interesting because what it says to us is that whatever circumstance we face, the Lord Almighty. What does Almighty mean? It means having all might, all power. The one who is able to be mighty over the mighty. And God is present. Part of God's magnificence and God's all powerfulness is his all presence, his omniscience, his omnipresence, his omnipotence. The God of Jacob is our fortress. In other words, we have security in him. And so I want to encourage you today that whether or not you believe in God or whether or not you acknowledge God, God wants to intervene in your life. God wants to make a mark. He wants to show up in your life. If you don't mind, please just bow your head with me and I'll pray for you. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this person whose faith has been challenged, who for a long while now thought that God did not care or did not understand or was not concerned about them. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you would break into their life, break into their situation, break through their circumstances and reveal yourself. Show up and show off in their life, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. If this YouTube video has been a blessing to you, please subscribe to our channel. Recommend us to your family and friends and give us a thumbs up. May God bless you and have a great day.